And by the way, it was about this time last week here on the show when we were discussing Donald Trump's potential vice presidential picks. Trump, you remember last week, floated the idea of a handful or so uh, different possibilities during an interview. And we were talking about it here on the show. And Chris said, you know what? Maybe another name should be added onto the list. Watch. Senator Katie Boyd Britt from hmm. Alabama to be oh. Trump's running mate. That's uh, that, I, I think that's the the I think it would be the right choice for Trump. Katie Britt of Alabama and Mick went on there to say, huh, I hadn't really considered that, but maybe you have a point. So why do we bring that up? Check this out. Earlier this week, Republicans announced that Katie Britt <laughs> would be the Republican response to President Biden's State of the Union address, Chris. Somebody must have heard me and decided to take her out of the running <laughs> by giving her the single worst job in American politics. The response to the State of the Union is just a garbage job. Marco Rubio might be president today yeah. if he had not, little Marco had not reached for the water. Well, uh, it, I think of Sarah Sanders, who has been before every camera and microphone yeah, in every situation. It's or Bobby it's hard for her. Long ago, Bobby Jindal looking like the guide at the Haunted Mansion ride at Disneyland. <laughs> Nikki Haley. Nikki, it's just, it's just impossible because the State of the Union is the best stage in politics. It's all lit up, cheering, it's big. And then inherently, no matter what, they're going to cut to you and it's going to look small. Is, and this it's a, really tough. is this a VP audition? It is. That's what Katie Britt's thinking. But I agree with Chris here. The problem is, is that the State of the Union response is littered with dead political carcasses. Yeah. This is the worst thing possible for her. If she's able to hit it out of the park, then she'll be on Trump's radar. And I do think that Chris is right. Eventually, she probably will be on Trump's radar. How do you turn it down, though, if you're... Oh, exactly. Okay, how do you yeah. turn yeah, you it can. down? Right. I mean, I hear what you all are saying, yeah. but what's the flip side of this strategically? And, how does she turn it down? And this, and this is the Republican Senate saying, hey, Donald Trump, what about... So, hey, how about... Um, what if you picked a normal per what if you did not choose well, the word? You think that's what this is about? <laughs> you think this is this is yeah, the, who makes the, this decision? Look, she's the term rising star is abused very often, but this is the Senate le Republican leadership okay. that that came up with this because obviously the House can't agree on anything. <laughs> uh, and if you're Mitch McConnell, if you're one of the Johns, if you're those folks, Katie Boyd Britt is the kind of person you want to say, hey, we've got normal people who are competent and they're camera friendly and we, we can do this. So it's good for them. She's good brand for them. Uh, and maybe they want Donald woman, Trump to be thinking about it. Woman, Alabama. You, that's so true. So true. And everything Chris just said, absolutely true. But for Katie Britt's personal brand, too. This is huge because it might be a small stage in politics, but I guarantee you there's a lot of people watching this who will see Katie Britt for the okay. first time. Yeah, just don't screw it up. Yes. <laughs> Words of advice. All right. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.